Welcome to Checks and Balances, I'm Michael Vincent, this is James Blair, and this week, market volatility. Okay, investment volatility is a thing we've spoken about recently in the past, but it's something that is still happening a lot in the market. My concern to see clients who were asking questions a few months ago, now I'm getting the reports going, client X has moved from a growth fund to a cash fund, I'm getting our investment clients calling going, what is happening at the moment? Should we do something different? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty rough time out there at the moment for markets, you know, for wholesale markets, mortgage rates, investments, everything. So we thought it'd be a good idea to give you a quick breakdown of what's happening and maybe what you should do about it. So Jimmy, what is happening out there in the market? It's a combination of factors. Uh, firstly, COVID is still happening. It's not really a big factor impacting world markets. The only one where it is is probably in China where yeah. you're starting to see a bit of a lockdown. Yeah. Uh, obviously what's happening in Ukraine and in Russia, it kind of spilling over a bit. People really uncertain about how it's gonna play out creates concerns on a, a world level of, of what might play out, how it will impact the economies, how it will impact the markets. Yeah. That's making people worried. But the main thing making people worried is the US Fed in terms of how high will they hike interest rates. Mm -hmm. The 10 year treasury bonds already gone up 0.81 of a percent. Yeah. Doesn't sound like a lot, can have a huge impact on people, how they spend their money, where they invest. Um, it's, it's just creating some problems out in the market. Okay, and just, I'm gonna pause there for one second. I know this is punchy, but for people who don't know, what is that 10 year rate and why does it matter? So it's, it's what we call like the risk-free rate. Yeah. So a bond, um, we'll do another episode talking about bonds. There might even be a Money Bites about it. Think about it as investing your money in the government. Yep. And the government is giving you, if you invest for 10 years, they're paying you like 1% or something around that sort of level. That is considered the risk-free rate. Yep. So as that number goes up, as money tends to get more expensive, people get worried about inflation, people get more risk adverse and go, should mm -hmm. I be putting money into stocks or should I be dipping it over into uh, risk-free assets? Okay, so everything's going up. There's a bit of volatility in the market. Russia's invading Ukraine. China's going back into a lockdown. Um, this is creating uncertainty and is causing uh, the US, well, one of the reasons the US is raising their rates. What is the impact on New Zealand and your clients in New Zealand? Well, any good investment portfolio will be diversified. Yeah. So New Zealand actually has probably a bias towards New Zealand investments, mm. but really you should all be invested into Europe, invested into global property, invested into US shares, et cetera. Yeah. Um, what we're seeing in our portfolios and well diversified portfolios for our growth portfolios over the quarter, they've probably dropped about three or 4%. Uh, conservative portfolio is probably more around that one to two percent. Yeah. Uh, the U.S. Um, market has dropped about twelve percent over the quarter. Bounced back a little bit, more around that eight percent. But they're the sort of numbers you're seeing in terms of the volatility. So if you compare it to the drop during COVID in March 2020, or during the global financial crisis, or the tech bubble burst, all of those sort of things, very mild in comparison. Yeah. But it's still your money and it's still going up and down and it makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, and that volatility sounds like a great time to actually time the markets to get in now. No. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so look, with all of this volatility out there in the market and, you know, albeit a little bit more subdued in terms of what's happening in New Zealand and the markets in New Zealand, what should your customers be doing? So I've heard a lot of people saying you should do nothing. And that might potentially be the right thing to do. It might not be. Mm. It really comes back to your goals. So if you do have a short term goal, like purchasing a home, using the money in the next couple of years, then you might have a problem where you should probably still get out. Yeah. Now, have a one to one chat, make sure that the right that is the right thing for you. But you've just got to realize with these kind of market ups and downs, there's no guarantee that things are going back to normal in a couple of months. Mm. Markets can be low for 12 months plus. Yeah. If you uh, have long term goals, and assuming you are in a well diversified portfolio, and just on that point, Mike, I think probably for the first time really since the uh, in New Zealand, the shares easily invest now, people are seeing their money drop and stay low for a period of time. Yeah. This is probably a really good chance as well to think, am I in the right kind of solution? Am I well diversified enough? 
every punter had good outcomes. Now you've actually got to think, should I have a professional? Should a professional be looking after my money? Should I be better diversified? Yeah, and that's something we've always sort of preached with the, uh, with the shares and the direct investing is obviously like, you know, absolutely if it's a, uh, if, if it's a hobby for you or you, you, you can allocate those funds where it's not a major part of your, uh, your investment strategy, then great. Um, but you know, a lot of those trades you aren't gonna make money on. I, the stats are pretty bad around who makes money on that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's about three and a half percent of day traders make money. Yeah. Um, a, a great comparison would be, you know, Mike and I built a deck probably five years ago together. It was more cost effective than paying a professional to do it. But I tell you what, Mike, that deck is not in good shape. And just a reminder, when you're outdoors, you should use outdoor nails. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, now, for those who are in well-managed portfolios, whether it's your KiwiSaver or um, certainly one of our clients because it doesn't get any better, yep. um, it is important to stick to the plan, stick to the strategy. Markets will go up and down over time. Hopefully, you completed some sort of risk profile where you were like, I'm comfortable with my investment dropping so much in value. Yeah. So an example would be if you're in a moderate portfolio where maybe you've got 40% in shares and property, 60% in cash and bonds, it's dropped 2%. If you've completed a risk profile with me, you told me you'd be comfortable with it dropping 10%. Yeah. So we're really not in the ballpark. So it's important to stick to the strategy. For those retired clients or those who are getting an income, the other thing to keep in mind is you're not losing all of your money. Markets will recover. You're only needing to take maybe a hundred or a thousand or two thousand dollars a month yeah you've got a really long time until you need to worry about panic stations i need this money short term most people just need income yeah and that's a really important point there is when you're when you're looking at the the size of the portfolio or the value of the assets in the portfolio shrink just have the conversation with your investment advisor before you pull the trigger yeah and i know you were joking mike but markets are discounted at the moment and if you do have cash you know, they might drop further, but compared to the all-time high, they discounted about 8%. Yeah. It's, it's a good time to, to get in, uh, assuming that's right for your, your situation. Yeah. So just a reminder, markets do go in cycles. It will happen forever. In a seven-year cycle, there will be three really good years, three kind of boring years, and one really crappy year. Um, it is important to stick to the strategy, stick with long-term averages. We'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much for joining us. If you've got any questions about your own situation, your worry, just send us a direct message at info at lighthousefinancial.co.nz and we're happy to have a chat and we'll see you next week. I can't believe you brought up the deck story.